And welcome back at the Air Canada Center. Joined alongside the Hall of Famer, Alex English. And uh, Alex, when, when you were playing, let's say, against the Kings, were you probably playing with Eddie Johnson those years? of? Uh, yeah, the Eddie Johnson was there. And Mark Overding, all Mark that Mark Overding. Uh, I don't remember the other guys. It's been so long ago, Chuck. You remember? Congratulations on becoming a Canadian. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Dual citizen, it's all good. And yes. for the Raptors, it's all good. You're up by eight. What's going on? Well, we, we're doing a pretty good job. Uh, our zone workforce, they were... You know, they, they run a lot of plays, they move a lot, and we uh, we, we had a, a problem early in the game staying with them. We put zone in, zone was able to slow that motion offense down. The well, second quarter, and I know you guys knocked down some threes, but also started getting to the free throw line. Yeah, we got to the free throw line. Carlos getting to the hoop, uh, CB driving the basket. That's what we've got to do. We've got to attack them, get them in foul trouble, but we've got to come and run them off the three-point line in the second half. They made uh, too many uncontested threes in that first half. And Bibby... Garcia. Well, what happens sometimes you see that your, your team kind of gets away from attacking the basket. They just settle for the shot. Right. What do you got to do to get them out of that? Well, we, we just have to continually tell them you got to attack. We, you know, we've got to be in attack mode, especially CB. He's so quick and he's such a, a force inside. He's got to be our main guy going to the hole and the other guys will follow suit. All right, good enough, Alex. Thank you so much. Thanks, Chuck. Alex English joining us right here at halftime on the Raptors Network tonight on The Score. As uh, Alex English, along with Sam Mitchell, the coaching staff, have put in different packages defensively against Reggie Theus and the Kings tonight. But the Raptors up by eight, our capital one at the half stats. Well, both teams shooting the ball very well, identical from three. Raptors did a good job getting the free throw line. All of the nine free throws came in the second quarter. Also out rebounding the Kings and 19 assists to nine turnovers, where the Kings have 13 assists to 10 turnovers. Brad Miller of the Kings leading his ball club in scoring with 14 points on four or five from the floor. Been to the line six times. And Bosch with a 16 point first half in 21 out of a possible 24 minutes. Uh, Bosch really changed the way he decided to play. Much more aggressive in that second quarter. Let's take a look at our IBM winning strategies. Transition defense, not so good. Kings 51%. Raptors have to tighten things up, take away some of those easy opportunities and the open shots that come after you get down the floor in transition. Attention shoppers, close Kmart. Kmart is closed, at least it was in the first half. They got to make sure Kevin Martin doesn't pick it up in the second half. Be aggressive. Raptors 19 assists on 22 field goal attempts. Solid job there. I got a little, give a little love to Andrea Bargnani. I mean, a lot's been said and written under the microscope. He's getting killed, but Tonight, seven points, five rebounds. Yes, he's three of nine, but I like what I've seen of him, Leo. No, he's been solid, Chuck. And again, you know, a lot of people criticize, but he's a young player still learning how to play the game. There's a lot of growth, and, you know, if he, if he realizes his potential, nobody's going to be complaining whatsoever. They weren't complaining last year, were they? Not at all. Jamario Boone knocks it down for yeah. his fourth point. Didn't play much in the first half. Part of that had to do with some turnovers he had. And he, you see, he has to realize he's an athletic guy when he comes on the floor, take open shots, take the ball to the basket, rebound and defend, but don't turn it over. Raptors by 10. Otrick. Miller up top. Dreams it. A good penetration by Udrich, a teammate of Rasho Nesterovic on the Slovenian national team. We just saw Primo Gresic last night. Teammate. So Rasho's got to keep, uh, keep take care of these guys when they come to town. What are these tired. Nice pin down by Bosch. Do you play them? Uh, does Canada play Slovenia? Yeah, they're going to be in the wild card uh, qualifier this summer in Greece. So Slovenia, one of the top teams there. I was here just saying the Bosch lost the handle there. So you do play Slovenia? Well, we don't know who we're playing at this point, but they are in the qualifying. Yeah. Very, very good team. Just like that. And another international player there, Francisco Garcia, played for the Dominican Republic. Had a chance to see him firsthand a couple of summers ago in the, in the World Championships. Nice look. Count it the foul for the World Qualifiers. In the correct effort. Again, getting inside, the game changes. Bosch has been outstanding second quarter on, and the Raptors doing a good job of keeping him in the game, as we pointed out. Well, you want to make sure that he's on the floor, he's active, and he's working around the basket. He's 7 of 8 from the floor tonight. Well, as soon as Bosch started going to the, to the free throw line, everything changed for the Raptors. 
They need him to establish that inside presence. There's nobody on Sacramento. They have some light. They got some physical guys, but nobody that can handle Chris Bosh. In our third quarter on the score brought to you by Hyundai Chuck Swirsky Leo Rounds. We have Ed and Vert back at the score studios. Sixty three fifty four. Raptors. Raps have tomorrow off and another back to back. Home with Atlanta and Philadelphia. Solomons. Moore. Odrick. Elbow three. Off the mark. Rebounded by CB4. Both teams shooting 52%. Calderon. Floats a pass. Jamario Moon. Three ball. Too strong. Mikey Moore. That's a tough angle. He shot that ball underneath the iron and had no chance of going in. Also, some good pressure on him as well when he took that shot. Raptors doing a better job. Five on the shot clock. Andrea Bargnani. He forced it up. Sails out of bounds. Chuck, I want to show you something. I mentioned this a couple of times about Andrea. Watch when he catches the ball. Your first thing is sell the shot. He doesn't really sell it. When he puts the ball on the floor, he's really not going anywhere. You drive it hard just into the paint, and you got a pull-up jump shot. And if they take that away, that's when you kick it out. But it, you'd be a little bit more decisive. Sell that initial shot fake to get people to move. Are you saying he should have shot the ball, Leo? No, well, I, I, I'm saying that had he done that, sold the fake, then when he put the ball on the floor hard, he would have had an open look in the middle. And then, remember, if, if he is open, it's going to draw more defenders, and that's going to make that pass, the kick out, even better. Parker, what a dunk! He, he is so just Exactly, those sneaky dunks. You don't think he's going to get there, and all of a sudden, he's throwing it down. Doing a real nice job right there. Francisco Garcia, three-point shooter. Moon getting up on him and then denying him, not letting him get the ball back. But Parker, we talk about that sneaky move. Gets on the baseline, goes up. Looks like he's just going to extend and lay it up. The next thing you know, he's dunking the ball over Mikey Moore. Ooh, Anthony Parker with six. 65-54, Raptors. Parker, three ball, book it. That's the Raptors' eight triple on the night. 22 assists. Good ball movement, getting the Raptors good shots. It's a 10-4 Raptor run here in the third quarter. Raptors extend their lead. Kings in the first of three on the road. We got Jamario Mooney got tangled up with Garcia in the lane. Yeah, Moon's really working hard on Garcia. He doesn't want to give him any room, no open looks. That time he ran into Brad Miller and made life a little more difficult. Odrick. Oh. Offensive rebound collected by Brad Miller. Fresh shot clock at 24, and then Garcia turned it over. And for the Kings, it's number 12. Parker, Andrea Bargnani, power move, flips it up, no, take the box. But I do like what Andrea did. He took it straight to the back. No, aggressive, Chuck. Aggressive, and that's the key for Andrea Bargnani. And Chris Bosch right there to clean it up. As soon as he got the ball, he knew what he wanted to attack. Mikey Moore not able to get that charge because Andrea Bargnani, as he left the ground, Veered off to his right. So Bosch with 21, and the Raptors lead by 16. The Air Canada Center here in Toronto on the score, and the score tonight following the game with Tim Sib right here on the score. A lot of NBA action. It's also time for a Hyundai Think About It, featuring some NBA trivia. 
who holds the Raptors franchise record for most minutes in a game. Sunday double overtime game with Portland produced career highs for Bosch and Calderon and Parker and Parker the number one player franchise history a single game minutes. Can we throw it ahead? It happened against this team. There you go Sacramento and we'll have the answer in a few minutes right here on the score with Paul Graham our producer our director Troy Clara along with Matt Bloom John Russell Ashley Bolden Linda Moore Megan Spencer. Get some scoring power coming in the game right now you got Michael Bibby. On the floor, and with Kevin Martin, who's been very, very quiet in this game. And Salmon's had a, a nice spell early in this game, but here it turns it over. Yep. Dave Schick is in the truck, just pointed out that the Kings have turned it over now 13 times. And a lot of those careless turnovers, Tim, are not really attributed to the Raptors' defense, just careless, sloppy passes. Raptors have scored 15 points off those turnovers. Debbie playing in his first game of the season, and the pull-up is good. <laughs> right, he keeps it rolling. Four or six on the field. I like that move. It's a quick little dribble right into the D, and he pulls up. Very, very good at that. Bosh, tough shot, and it goes! And that's a good time to go back to the shot. Bosh has done a real good job in this game. He's 9 of 10. He's got to the free throw line. Come back out, take it. Next thing you know, go back in again. He's got seven in the quarter, 23 on the night. Raptors up by 16. Salmons. Not a good decision by Salmons. It's one of those shots I haven't had in the moment, so I better just jack it up. Uh, he's also getting a lot of pressure. Jamario Moon's doing a great job defensively in the second half. He's sat in the first and oh, well rested, ready to go. As this guy is here. Nice job by Colin Rohn going to the basket. Calderon with a double double of 14 and 10. 74 56. The Raptors have blown this baby wide open. And that ball went off the foot of Martin out of bounds. Jose Calderon able to create for himself as much as he does for his teammates. Hesitational ball fake. Like he's throwing the ball in the corner and finish it up. Calderon working against Mike Bibby. Mike Bibby wanted to carry that time. Calderon got that ball caught in the back of his leg. And Bibby's showing Calderon something, something, and nails it. He is so tough off the dribble. He really has a knack for getting his opponent. He shakes him, gets him off him, gives himself all the room he needs. He gets that shot up pretty quick. Bargnani swings it. Parker slashing. Calderon. Elbow three. Got it. Boy, a big splash for Jose Calderon with 17. Raptors torching the Kings here in the third. 62%. Bibby contact and will go to the strike with two. Bibby has done a nice job in this game. For a guy that hasn't played this season, he has come in and tried to give his team a lift. Playing very aggressively here. Hit a couple of jump shots, going to the bucket this time, using his body. On Bosch, almost got it to stay in. But the ball movement for the Raptors has been exceptional. Quick passes, finding the right guy, ball going side to side. That's enabled the Raptors to train nine trades in 20 attempts. Well, the number I like is 24 assists for 30 main field goals. So Sam Mitchell has to be pleased with his team sharing the ball. Raps have had seven players with assists. You get to uh, see the Lakers on February 1st, plus get a free T-shirt with a salami and cheese two-game flex pack. A four-game pack gets you a talking chuck bobblehead with the head firmly planted, by the way, uh, with all of your favorite Swirsky lines. So watch the Raps take on the Lakers, Bucks, Wiz, and more. Visit Raptors.com to get your pack for as low as $68. Now, Chad, I know you were a little upset after that uh, little display of defensive uh, footwork, but I want you to know that your bobblehead is under repair. It's not just going to be discarded. It's going to be fixed, and you're going to be okay. So you send it to Scott McCullough? Yes, yeah, Scott McCullough's got it right now. He's it? working out because I know you're, you know, anytime one of your bobbleheads go down, I know the, 
uh, the pain in your oh. heart, but I just want you to know the bobblehead will be back. So you're not sending it to the D-League? No, no. It's not going to be sent down. Jamario Moon, the delivery. Bosch is fouled by Brad Miller and Bosch. Already five or six at the line. Miller pick it up his second. I don't mean to bring this up, Chuck, but you know, we also just did a salami and cheese flex pack uh, promo. And as Bosch goes up and gets fouled here, I'm just starting to think about salami and cheese late in the third quarter. Yep. I guess that means you're not quite ready. Huh? Not now. So Chris Bosch, first in rebounds, first in blocks, free throws made, free throw attempts, second in offensive rebounding. Yeah, I guess that would make you a franchise player. Right? Bosch, 9 of 10 from the floor. He's got 25. Leo, he's 7 of 8 from the line. The Raps are 10 of 12. Pippi threw it away. Here's Parker. On the run lane. Up and good. Ton of foul. Oh, baby, what a play by Anthony Parker. It starts with the defense. Raptors picking apart in Sacramento, taking their passes. 15 turnovers in this game. Bibby, again, a careless pass cross court. Parker doing a great job of protecting that ball as he lays it in. Parker anticipating the pass. Cross court to Kevin Martin. 24 9 here in the third in favor of the Raps. Parker with 12. Calderon with 17. A double double to go along with 10 assists. Bosch with 25. Delfino with 11. Bibby open three ball. Yes. The Sacramento Kings just basically have to give Bibby the ball every time down the floor. This guy's on fire. Six of eight. He's got 17 points in his first NBA game of the season in 13 minutes. And this is kind of something we, we touched on at the beginning of the game, Chuck, that, hey, Bibby's on fire. He's doing a great job, but you're losing other guys as these players are getting adjusted. Nice rebound. Wow, what a board by Moon. And the Raps turn it over. Here is Martin to the rim and a layup. Well, and, and the guys you're losing is the guy just scored right there. Kevin Martin finally getting uh, an opportunity to score. He's just got four points in the game. And last two, he's averaged 32. Bargnani. Andrea, three for 13. It just seems to be aiming it a little bit, Chuck. Just not shooting it as comfortably as he normally does. And Kevin Martin, this is something he likes to do. He's, he's a crafty offensive player. Likes to get the defense to leave their feet and knock it in. Parker with the turnover and Kevin Martin, he needs this. He needs something to get him going. So Martin completes a three-point play. He's got seven points. Martin is a player that, you know, last year really surprised the Sacramento Kings. Came on to... You know, to become an explosive score, that's something they really didn't anticipate in their plans. And the Kings rewarded him with a five-year, $55 million package. That'll do it, Leo. That'll do it. And welcome back to the Air Canada Center. Chuck Swirsky, Leo Rollins with you. As the Raptors take it on the Kings on Hyundai, think about it. Who holds the Raptors franchise record for most minutes in a game? And the answer is Vince Carter with 63. February of 2001 in triple overtime. This was a wild game with Carter in possession for the Raptors. With time running out in regulation with a finger roll, he gets fouled, makes a couple of free throws. In the second overtime, Boogie Williams to the rack. And then Stojakovic, as Jerome Williams got caught in a screen, Stojakovic with a triple. And then Charles Oakley for the game winner, Remy Dowd. And the final, 119-118 Sacramento. And the next night, Leo, the Raptors played the Washington Wizards in D.C. That was a wild game. I remember that Stojakovic jumper. Everybody knew he'd be a likely guy to get the ball. He ended up getting a wide open one. That trade had just been consummated with the uh, Pistons and Raptors for Jerome Williams just a few days before. 
82-67. Here's Brad Miller. Shoots a 17-footer off the bounce. Missed five. There's Bosch. He's two boards away from his 20th double-double down the year. You got Delfino, Calderon, Bosch, Parker, and Moon. Raps going small. Here's Delfino. Jamaya Moon flying in. And there's Parker. Calderon. Uh, that was an unbelievable rebound by Moonchuck. You want to stay in the game and you want to get minutes with Sam Mitchell. Keep coming up with rebounds like that. Jamario Moon. Moon is two for five in 14 minutes. This is late third quarter action. 82-67 Raptors. They're trying to get Martin some shots. Nope. But, but they're trying too hard, Chuck, and that's what happens when the player starts getting out of his rhythm. Now you're trying too hard to get him back in it. It affects everybody on the floor. When the reality is Mike Bibby's the guy you'd like to get shit more shots right now. Raptors have out rebounded the Kings 32 to 20. Delfino, nice look to Bosch with a spin slapped out of his hands. There's contact, and he will shoot two. There are a few fouls in there that <laughs> time that call was made. Not a lot of minutes in the first half, just four. But Jamario Moon has bounced back in the second half with some big rebounds defensively, getting on the glass as well. He's doing a great job trying to deny, keep scores from getting the ball, and he's cleaning up the glass. So Jamario Moon responding to some tough love from Sam Mitchell. Mm -hmm. Sam Mitchell has made it pretty clear. I don't decide who plays and how many minutes they play. You do. You perform. You do what you're supposed to do. You're going to stay on the court. I'm not going to take you off if you're playing well and helping a team win. That's the way it should be. Across the board. Absolutely. Parker leaving. He's played very well tonight as Capono checks in. Well, you know what, Chuck? It gives great incentive to guys on the bench that you know that if you play hard, you play well, you will play. You know, there's a lot of situations where guys sit on the bench and, 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 and you know, that's, you're promised that if you play hard, you'll, you'll get minutes, but you never get them. Yeah, then Martin once again on the drive, off balance, scores, and will go to the line. Again, showing his ability to, to get to that free throw line. Nice use of his body, and as soon as he hears that whistle, Chuck, he's getting that ball up in the air. Kevin Martin. On Moon and Jamario picks up his fifth, so Humphreys coming in and Jamario Moon going to the bench and Sam Mitchell having a few choice words for his rook. Just saying, get in front of him and stay down. Don't leave your feet. That's what he said. Basically. Or you're going to turn into this Chuck Swirsky bobblehead. You don't <laughs> want that to happen. There you go. <laughs> a lot of runs in this game. Raps have certainly had their share, and so is Sacramento of late now, 11 to 2. 65 seconds to go third quarter 14 point lead for Toronto Humphreys drives past Brad Miller and dunks Nice fake nice clean move Brad Miller horrible defense that time just stood right up I think he's out of gas there he looks tired Mike Bibby uh, Bibby as well, Chuck. You know he's been he's been playing pretty solid this game, but he hasn't played, so his legs are going to get affected. Kevin Martin, nope. Here's Brad Miller, a loose ball foul on Miller. Little push on Delfino at the other end of the floor. Humphreys, watch this fake, and Miller just comes up, horrible position, nobody there to help him out. Nice job by Chris Humphreys. Let's see, we're going to have Delfino going to the free throw line with a round to 13 to 15 for Hunt. He has played 11 minutes tonight. See the minutes all around, Leo. 32 for Bosch, 31 for Calderon. You touched on this for our viewers that just joined us, Leo. In our pregame setup for the game, you talked about minutes regarding Calderon, the point situation with Calderon. Derek Martin, Juan Dixon, the possibility maybe of Brian Colangelo bringing in another guard before the trade deadline. Right, and I think for Brian Colangelo and the entire Raptors organization, they want to see where T.J. Ford is at. 
Uh, obviously, you don't want to make a rash decision if T.J. Ford could play. Remember, Raptors had one of the best tandems in the NBA at the point guard position. Derek Martin, he's struggling a little bit this season. Juan Dixon, not a true point guard. But Jose Calderon, is he playing extraordinary minutes? Are the minutes too much? I don't think so. When you look at his numbers on the season as, as a starter, I think he's playing comparative minutes to other starters around the league. Take a look at Baron Davis. He's 28 years old, playing almost 39 minutes a game. Chris Paul, around the same age. Uh, you see, uh, he's 22 years of age, 37.6 minutes. So he's right in there with some of the best point guards in the league as a starter. So I don't think that Sam Mitchell is using him more than he needs to right now. And Jose Calderon is a well-conditioned player, and, and he's performing. His play is not deteriorating with the minutes he's had to play. Bill, you know, what is the average for a starter in the NBA? How many minutes do you think they, they get during the game? Well, again, it depends on the team, Chuck. You've got some heavy-duty guys, but, you know, you're, you're going to be looking to playing between 30 and, uh, you know, 38 minutes a game. Six on the clock. Bosch to the rim and a dunk over by Bosch. That is Chris Bosch for 29. Bibby bubbled the ball, Kono stole it, and the Raps lead by 20 at the end of three. Chris Bosch has been the man for Toronto. 10 of 11 from the field. Easy to shoot a high percentage when you finish like this. Chris Bosch has been magnificent. 33 minutes, as Leah mentioned, 10 of 11 from the floor, 9 of 10 from the line. He's got eight rebounds, one assist, and 29 points. He is your franchise player. He's carving up the Kings. A lot of onions going around for the Raptors tonight, Leo, because Chris Bosch is the man. He has stepped up. Yeah, except for those guys that got to call salami and cheese, but we won't get in that because we're going to get in stats right now, Chuck. You just saw what the Kings did like two minutes ago, right? <laughs> they went on, they went up and scored 11 points in two minutes. Okay. All right. You defended. Well, Raptors still shooting the ball very well, 9 to 21 from three. Doing a great job at the free throw line out, rebounding the Kings and assist 26 to 16. The bench getting it done, 33 to 21. Our subway wrap up for three quarters right here on the score. 24 9 run to start the third. Toronto all time leader in free throws made in the 10 sets, Mr. Bosch. And Kevin Martin, who's been on fire of late in uh, a couple of ball games, he's been held at 10. But Bosch has been the story in this one. Raptors showing uh, more of that zone, Chuck. The zone has been very effective in this game at different times to keep Sacramento out of the paint. We have a three-second defensive violation on the Toronto Raptors. Yeah, Delfino and Humphreys both were pretty much in a lower block and a weak side, nowhere near an offensive play. Reggie Theus, a head coach of the Kings, a great player. With the Chicago Bulls out of UNLV, played under Jerry Sloan and Larry Costello when he first came into the league. Let me tell you what, Leo. I, I told you it's the other night. I was the PA announcer when Reggie Pierce played for the Bulls. If someone told me one day that Reggie Pierce would have been the head coach of an NBA team, because this guy was all over the map in terms of basketball, in terms of shooting, and you know, he liked to freelance a lot. You know that. You yeah, played yeah. against him. He did, but he, you know, he was also a great competitor, and I, and I think sometimes a player's personality on the floor doesn't necessarily reflect how he would be on the sidelines. He's been around the game a long time at all different levels. Yeah. And to his credit, Rick Patino said when he got the call from Reggie Pierce that he wanted to be an assistant coach. He said, I'm going to give you, a, and he said he worked his tail off. Well, as a recruiter, as a coach, he stayed late. Oh, he, we also pointed out the advantage of a Reggie Theus when he goes in and recruits home and mom says, oh, I like that guy. I like that coach. <laughs> and coaches that can score. How about that for an average? That Reggie Theus, 18.5. Sam Mitchell down there at number 10, nine points a game. But remember, Sam was that defensive guy, too. He'd come in and he'd be locking up players on the floor. 
He, he'd be the type of player that would put Reggie Theus on his can. <laughs> he would. On the old caboose. Oh, he'd be one of those guys where you know, a guy like Reggie Theus gets hot, Sam Mitchell's going to come in there, get physical with him, and exactly, if he has to, lay him out. Delfino working on the 13.645 assist game. Kings hanging in that 2 3 zone. Calderon, Delfino, wide open three. Got it. Carlos Delfino with 16 points for Delfino. That's his fourth triple. Leo had three last night. Uh, and the Raptors are just moving the ball so well. They're getting great looks. Look inside the box, kick it back out, move it, come back. 27 assists. So that number still keeps climbing, Chuck, in a ratio. 34 field goals made. Capono. And there he is again, Chuck. He's just not parking outside the three point line. And we talked about this extensively last night against Detroit, that he's not a guy that just wants to shoot threes. He wants to take good shots. Pretty good idea there by Delfino, just a little bit late in reacting to Kevin Martin. And Kevin Martin being aggressive, and the officials now having watched him play extended minutes over the last couple of years, Leo, they're giving him calls. Yeah, no, he knows how to play. He knows how to draw fouls and get to the free throw line. And Jason Capone, here's a guy that could have parked outside the three-point line. He caught it far enough to make the defense run to him, and as they were running, put the ball on the floor for an easier shot. Coming up uh, Sunday, January the 30th, against the Wizards, be one of the first 10,000 fans in the building. Get your very own Raptor mascot bobblehead. Add to your Raptors collection. Visit raptors.com for information. So here we are with 9.40 to go. On the score, Chuck Swirsky, Leo Rounds, had Dan Burton in the studio. On the score, it's 95-75. Toronto by 20. Humphreys. That's a good save by Humphreys, Chuck. That ball had no business getting to him, and he stayed with it. He, he looked at the officials right now. Hey, people are grabbing my arms. How about the foul right there? But good focus to try to get that ball back. Humphreys going in for a putback dunk. Sent to the floor and will shoot two. And right over Ron Artest. That's just outstanding hustle. Capono goes up the leaner and Artes just jumping for the ball didn't block out Humphreys making a pay. So Ron Artes playing for the first time after missing nine with an elbow injury underwent surgery on that elbow with four points in 21 minutes our fourth quarter is brought to you by MGD. Raps return home on uh, Friday with the Atlanta Hawks and then on the road in Philadelphia on Saturday. Raptors shooting 52%, the Kings at 48%. Turnovers have killed Sacramento tonight along with the Raptors three ball. And shot selection, not a great shot no. there by Artest. Box, they double him. Delfino so smooth, Carlos Delfino with 18. As soon as Bosch got the ball, Chuck, he watched the defense, saw no one was paying attention to him, ran the baseline, and Bosch patiently waited for him to get there and give him the ball. Martin, talk about a guy who's smooth. Yeah, he's just got a knack for getting into the paint. Slow start to this game, but he sure picked it up. Humphreys power move, shot up and good. Oh, that's all muscle right there. Yeah, <laughs> oh, he got that ball to block. Ron Artes was right on top of him. Somehow willed it in. Garcia left his feet and turned it over. 177 Toronto. Nice pass. Humphreys will shoot two. 
Well, the Raptors are getting their pizza, and we're getting the refrigerator door open soon, folks. It's 177 as Chris Humphreys attacking the glass. Back at the ACC on Friday. If you can't make it out to catch the Rams, join us on Raptors NBA TV. Saturday on TSN with Philadelphia and then on the road in Boston next week on the score. And don't forget Friday, Chuck Canada basketball night at the Air Canada Center. Some Hall of Fame members will be honored that evening. Looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. Our Sprite Impact player. Well, I think you've got to give it up to a guy like Carlos Delfino because he has been spectacular tonight for the Raps. Well, the last three games counting tonight, Carlos Delfino 16, 14, and sitting on 18 right now, shooting a good percentage and opening up the fall. When he came into the game in the second quarter, Raptors really got on track in terms of their offense. I mentioned the 18 points, also has seven rebounds, five assists, four of six from the field. And overall for Delfino, who is 4-4 four four from the line of the Raptors, collectively 17 of 20. Well, what's impressive, Chuck, first quarter, no free throws. Mm -hmm. So this is all second quarter on. So Humphreys makes a couple of free throws. He's got a 7.5 rebound night. 102-77 with seven and a half minutes remaining in this ball game. Martin for three. It doesn't have one of those true jump shots like a, a Ray Allen or you mentioned a Reggie Miller from the perimeter. It's not the prettiest shot, but he has a good follow through and he can't stick. Cold runs pass. There is Humphreys. Miller with a dunk. Ball poked loose. Martin is sent to the floor at midcourt. A loose ball foul against the Raps. Sam Mitchell didn't like the call. I don't know if you want to run into Chris Humphreys, Chuck. A big fella. Not much contact right no. there. Just everybody going for the loose ball. And Garcia doing the right thing. Just getting out of the way. Tinder. Mm-hmm. Kevin Martin stays high with 6.35 to go. You got Bosch on the floor with Calderon. Bosch has played 39 minutes. Calderon has played 38 minutes. And the Raptors up by 20. Well, we saw this in the game last night against Detroit. It, it, you know, the Raptors were definitely out of the game. Even though the score appeared closer than the game really was, and Sam Mitchell put Bosch back into the game. Right now, I think Sam Mitchell really wants to have a comfort level with his team. I, I think even though they're up right now, he wants to secure this lead. He doesn't want any, any drop-off. The Raptors have had those games where they really haven't blown anybody out, Chuck, and, and they've allowed teams to get back in, so I think he just wants a little insurance policy down the stretch here. So we got six minutes to go. Calderon. And then we have a loose ball foul. They're going to call this on Bosch. We're going to have a timeout. 5.49 to go. Raptors up by 20. Calderon, 17 points, 13 assists. And their MTD smooth play of the game. And why not bring in Bosch and Calderon? Oh, it starts with the defense. Chris Bosch, great hands. Hit showing the handle as he gets it up the floor to his teammates, saying, you know what, Jose? You've been doing a great job of getting me the ball this season. I owe you one. How's this? That's right. Usually it's the other way around, and the numbers speak for themselves. Yeah, Chris Bosch, impressive performance once again with 29. Jose Calderon, he had three turnovers early in this game, Chuck. But look at the assist totals now. He stayed on the three turnovers, 13 assists. And he's got 17 points as well. Fans know who the boss is. Oh, going. yes. A 29.8 rebound game. 
He also has three steals and two assists. Artes flips it up, out, rebound to Mario Moon. Delfino with 18. Delfino to the rim, a counted foul, and you can get out the salami and cheese with a side order of back bacon to go. This ball game is over. There you go. No onions in that pizza. So Carlos Delfino with 20. Boy, he has played so well tonight. I mean, he's popped the rock for three balls. He's got, what, four triples. He is uh, six of nine from the floor. 20 points, Leo, seven boards, five assists. Well, it's three good games. Even though the Raptors struggled against Detroit, it's three good games in a row for Carlos Delfino coming in off the bench. He's scoring, playing aggressive, doing what he did early in the season. And, and I, I really like the way he's playing. When he plays like this, the Raptors are a very different team. And this is a good uh, bounce back game for the Raptors after not playing well last night against the Pistons. Yeah, you always wonder how a team's going to respond to that because they really never got it going against Detroit. But, you know, once the salami and cheese comes out in this game, Chuck, not a problem. Now, when do you pull CB4? He's got 31. Yeah, I, I think it has to, should be fairly soon. What's your opinion on that, Chuck? You got Jose Calderon, you got Chris Bosch up in the game. What's your opinion on that? How would you play? Well, you have four games in five nights. You're up 107 to 82, and certainly Sam Mitchell knows his players better than I do. I would think you might see him go to his bench. That's not what I asked you. I said, what would you do? If you're asking me, I would probably lift him. Okay. I mean, I think you, you should have enough trust that you're not going to blow a 22-point lead at home with four minutes to go. You ever think of coaching? No. <laughs> Bibby. <laughs> I, really, I really think there's an opportunity there, Chuck. Well, let's see. Leo, you I'll, be honest, I'll be honest I'll be honest. You know, you, you, you lobby for that you know, backcourt position as a player. I don't see it. I could be a player coach. No, I don't. Yeah, but maybe the coaching is the way to go. You have your Canadian citizenship. You know, maybe we can work something out there. That was a loose ball foul. As uh, Bosch with his ninth board to go on the 31 points. So the Raptors, they're going to pick up the W tonight. To go back to uh, three games over the 500 mark at 21 and 18, Andrea Bargnani with seven points, six rebounds, three of 13 from the floor in 26 minutes. Yeah, struggle with a shot, but I thought Bargnani did a lot of good things in the game. He tried to be aggressive, tried to put the ball on the floor, uh, got on the glass early, which has been you know, something that Sam Mitchell has really got on him about. Bosch turned it over. Martin's pass deflected by Calderon. It's loose, and it's Delfino on the runway to the cup. Kaboom! Carlos <laughs> Delfino with 23. We have a timeout. 109 87 wraps. So Delfino, 7 of 10 from the floor, 5 of 5 from the line. And after the Kings turnover number 19, it was Delfino with a clear path to the rim. Well, they're having a good time tonight. The two catalysts for the victory for the Raptors, Bosch and Calderon. Yeah, a lot of smiles right now saying bounce it back. Tough game yesterday. It's a feel-good game here at the Air Canada Center. Sam Mitchell has to be happy with the effort. Great effort tonight, the board coach's edge. Talked about controlling the tempo. Players back from injury as far as the Kings are concerned. Well, you made a great point, Chuck, in the pregame where you and I were talking about this Sacramento team, and you said we're going to see two things. Either they're going to come out and play great, or they're going to struggle because of the new guys in the mix. Yeah. You were dead on. I think they did struggle, uh, even though we've seen some good things from Kevin Martin. I don't think he got onto the same rhythm as he might have been. Uh, had the other guys not been there, but for the Raptors, you know, solid ball game. Uh, last night against Detroit, just 89 points. Tonight, 109. Shooting the ball better. Three-pointer shoot, shoot shots better. Bosch 
doubling up his numbers from Detroit. And obviously Detroit a little different team, but you still got to recover. You got to come back and Chris got the legs bob and just kick it back saying, yeah, nice to get a W. Good. Calderon's always smiling, Chuck. He came out at halftime. He's just smiling. He's enjoying life. Yeah, Bosch looks like he's ready for that lazy boy gotta too. Give, you got to give him a smoking jacket and some slippers. He's all set. Give him a pipe. No. I can't, I, I can't see Bosch with the slippers and the pipe. What are you going to do? You tell me right now, you can't see. take him the newspaper? Right. You can't see Bosch right now with slippers, a smoking jacket, and a pipe? Come on. That's right. Yeah, we saw on the internet, car salesman. Maybe the next one will be that role we just talked about. Ooh. Maybe not. Oh, the sad part there, he was trying to sell Calder home on those used cars. Carlos Delfino, career high with 26. That was Delfino's fifth tray. Raptors are 11 to 24. 112 87. Bibby over Parker. We're going to have Joey Graham come in. Delfino showing a little handle on that one, Leo. He can handle the ball. I, mean, I, I think he does a good job when he is asked to handle the basketball. He creates some shots for his teammates and gets to the bucket himself. Chris Humphries. Chris Humphries has worked hard in this game. He's got, you know, he doesn't have spectacular numbers, nine and five, but he has worked very hard, been physical, especially against Ron Artest. Uh, Gatorade Game X Factor tonight. Well, I think you won this one, Leo. I took Beno Odrick. Who's at Barnati? 7.6 boards. Not a great shooting I 3 of 13. Yeah, I mean, not, not a spectacular evening from the Gatorade side, but, uh, you know, Barnati did get an opportunity to do some things on the floor and, like I said, rebounded early in his game. Odrick was distributing the ball when his teammates were making him, but, you know, a little, uh, a little tougher the pressure he received. Andrea Bergnani, good to see him smiling. Yes. And everybody giving Carlos Delfino a congratulatory word. Solid ball game. 26 on the night. When he's good, Chuck, he's very good. That's one thing, the one thing about Carlos. When he comes in, he's on his game. He makes so many things happen for the Raptors. So you've got uh, Parker, Dixon, Graham, Humphreys, and Moon. 31 to go. Sacramento having their number one pick. Spencer Hall's on the floor. He was a lottery pick as Parker leads. Martin comes in. Very good job by Anthony Parker tonight. Wonderful defensive job. Contributed 12 points and five assists. Humphreys. Nice little fake right there. Get the big fella to move. It's five double-figure players for Toronto. And the assist numbers keep climbing. 34 assists for the Raptors. This game. You know, Solomons has not played well tonight, Leo, only with nine. Well, he had a good start to the game, but after that, really tapered off. After the ball game, it's the score tonight with Tim and Sid. They'll have all the NBA highlights and what's going on around the National Hockey League as well. Also, Ken Austin leading the Grey Cup champion Saskatchewan Rough Riders to become the offensive coordinator at his alma mater, Ole Miss. So Eric Tillman having to go to work as the general manager at the CFL Championship Ball Club. And Chris Bosch, he loved those Dallas Cowboys, and they were upended by the Giants. You've got to be careful about taking those Mexican vacations before playoff games. You know what I'm talking about? Well, I mean, it is Jessica Simpson, Leo. Let me think about that. That's all right. Do it in private. Looks hard. Don't die. Don't open up a can of worms. Let the whole world know. Leo, we need to talk here. You're telling me you'd rather spend time in Dallas during a bye week or a few days and not go to Mexico with Jessica Simpson, are you out of your mind? I tell you what, 
If I'm Tony Romo and I'm getting 60 million bucks, I'm winning the Super Bowl first, then I'm going to Mexico. One sixteen eighty eight. Derek Martin. That's a 24 second violation. Well, Tom Brady, he, he went to New York with, with his girlfriend, Giselle Bunchin. No one say anything about that. Chuck, when, when, you're, when you're in New England and you head over to New York, it's not going to Mexico. Now, come on. You know, you know, I'll tell you what, no, I'm going to tell you, no, no. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you what bothers me about that. It's like Vince Carter going to his graduation. If I'm on his team, I don't want to answer questions about your graduation. If you go to Mexico, I, I'm worried about the playoffs. I don't want to worry about your Mexican vacation. Very heated about that, Leo. I didn't know you had that. All right, 116 91. Raptors win. Raptors win. Raptors win. Raptors go to three games over the 500 mark. And a game over the 500 mark at uh, Air Canada Center. So they go to 21 and 18 overall. Bosch with 31 points, nine rebounds, went to the line 10 times, made nine, went 11 of 12 from the floor. Delfino with 26, a career high to go along with seven boards and six assists. Leo? Thank you, Chuck. Jose, another solid ball game. After last night, what did you have to do to bounce back in this ball game? Uh, we know we have to come back to our basketball, just try to play like a team again. Last night was a tough loss because they got a really good team. The third quarter, they just uh, uh, be, uh, they were too aggressive in defense and we couldn't win. But tonight, we came back to, to play like we're supposed to play. As a starter, your numbers are tremendous, but you're playing 37 minutes a game. You feeling tired at all? No, I'm good. I just want to play. I want to uh, win games, and that's what we have to do. It doesn't matter. We know the season is hard, but we're ready for that. One of the players in your team had a great start to the season, kind of tapered off, but now picked it up again. Carlos Delfino, solid ball game. Yeah, he's a great player. He can do everything. Uh, we need to play it like this. Uh, he can shoot, he can rebound, defense. Uh, I think he got everything. He can be a great player in this league. Well, thank you very much. Thank great you. game. Okay, Leo and Jose Calderon, thank you very much. As Calderon heading to the locker room as the Raptors getting it done. They win at home. 116-91.